same model applies to all other types of addictions and not only to the drugs. This is why the four C's of addiction apply to any type of addiction including but not limited to drugs, alcohol, gambling, video games, sex, caffeine, etc. Let's understand each of these C's to understand addiction better. First C is compulsion. In the early stages of drug usage, you will be able to stop it without any consequences. But once you get into the usage for long term, depending on the drug type that you are using or the other addictions that you have been, you will start developing a compulsion. So compulsion means an individual has an absolute and overpowering urge to fuel their addiction. The behavior may start impulsively, but as the addiction grows, it becomes a compulsive habit. If you are not taking part in the habit, then you will start getting anxiety and it also affects all your other behaviors. To give a simple example here, you might get into the habit of drinking tea or coffee during your breaks, which started as a time pass habit, becomes a compulsive behavior over the period of years. When it becomes compulsive, then you will not be able to do your normal routine if you don't get your required coffee or tea dosage at the particular time. The second C is craving. So you understood in the first phase by impulsive user to become a compulsive user. Now the next stage of the addiction would be craving. Here the urge to fuel the addiction becomes as demanding as anger pain. It also mimics a physical need in your body. It feels like it is very vital for your own survival. This urge or craving often manifests as restlessness, insomnia or lack of appetite as well. The third stage of addiction is, that is third C is consequences. Here the person sees the negative consequences of the addiction. He understands it when people explain it to him but still continues with his behavior. Most common consequences of addiction are relationship issues, work problem, legal issues and there will be loads of financial problems as well. The fourth C that is the fourth stage of addiction that is control. At this stage the person loses the control of when and how the individual fuels their addiction. So in this stage control of when and how the individual fuels their addiction is lost. Often times in early stages of the addiction an individual will try to cut off from the addiction. Indiv individual will try to cut down or eliminate the behavior. But this is impossible when the person reaches the control stage of addiction. If a person is experiencing four C's of addiction, then it is very, very important to consult a health professional who specializes in the field of addiction for an assessment. And you can also seek for help. Here we need to understand addiction is not only limited to drugs. It can be a behavioral addiction. It can be a sex addiction. It can be a porn addiction. It can be an addiction to food. It can be an addiction to sugar intake. Or maybe phone addiction. Internet usage addiction. 
or an emotional dependency addiction and the list can go on and on but keeping in mind about these four c's will help you assess yourself better to understand which stage of addiction you are which will surely help you to understand the seriousness of your addiction and to seek professional help so far you have understood how compulsive is addiction and how it can not only affect the person who is using it but also his family let's understand how to prevent it we always believe prevention is better than cure here are five secrets which can prevent you from getting into addiction one remember drugs change the brain and this can lead to addiction and other serious consequences so preventing early usage of these drugs or alcohol may go a long way in reducing this risks risk of drug use increases greatly during the time of transition when a child is becoming from a kid to teen or teen to an adolescent when a person is going through these transition phases they are more prone to get into addiction for an adult a divorce loss of job or a financial complication may increase the risk of drug use number 2 stress higher the level of stress that you are dealing with in life you are more prone to addiction please watch my detailed video about stress and i have shared the link in the comment below number 3 stay away from triggers when i say this the triggers might be different for different individual these are the techniques that you can use to stay away from the triggers regular exercise routine cut back on the social media time you have to start developing strong relationships get plenty of sleep number 4 practice self love the more you love yourself you will see less of others approval the more confident and happy you become please watch my detailed video on self love number 5 practice attitude of gratitude be grateful for what you have rather than complaining or comparing about something that you don't have do watch my detailed video on attitude of gratitude i hope this video has given you enough information about addiction how you can assess your level of addiction how you can prevent yourself and your family members getting into addiction it is not the drugs that make a drug addict it is the need to escape from reality the more the person wants to escape from a reality they are pushing themselves into the addiction i want to end this video with a quote by john hall addiction is an adaptation it's not you it is the cage you live in thank you so much for spending this time with me take care keep yourself and your family away from addiction and be safe and healthy and keep smiling